Hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I will show you how you can install VMware tools on your Windows 11 client computer. Let's get into it. So yeah, I am with my Windows 11 client computer that I have just installed. So at the bottom, I have the option to click on install tools, and this will help you to install the VMware tools. The VMware tools will give additional capabilities and functionalities to your our Windows 11 computer. Like it would be easier for me to move the mouse in between the virtual environment to my host computer. It will allow to copy something from my host computer to my VM computer and vice versa. Now coming to the installation of the VMware tools, what we can do, we can either click at the bottom here, install tools and it's going to connect the VMware tools to our Windows 11 computer and we can begin installing. Or we can come up to the menu and click on VM and then come down and click on install VMware tools. So I'll click on that. So after clicking on install VMware tools, the Windows 11 did notify us to install VMware tools. So I will come back to my Windows 11 and I will just click on the file explorer at the bottom right here. So I can either click here to open the file explorer or I could just click in the search or click on the start button and then just type explorer and it's going to show us the file explorer and then I will just click on file explorer. So I'm just going to maximize the file explorer and now at the left, you can see that it has connected a DVD for the VMware tools. You can click on this or you can click on this computer and it will show you the drive C and the DVD drive. So I will just double click on the VMware tools at the DVD drive, drive D to open. And then it will prompt me with the user account control asking me whether I would like to make changes to the device. I'm just going to click on yes. So after clicking on yes, I will notice that the VMware tools installation wizard has opened. So I'm just going to click on it so it can come to the front. And this is just a welcome message. You can read through the welcome message. I'm just going to begin the installation by clicking on next. So once I click on next, I have these various installation options typical, complete, and custom. You can take your time to read what each of these mean. So I will just click on complete. And after clicking on complete, I will click on next. And I'll click on install. And I'm going to begin the installation of the VMware tools. So I'm going to pause the video and allow that to install. And once that is done, I will come back to complete the process. All right, so we see that we have successfully installed the VMware tools on our Windows 11 client computer. The next thing we're going to do is just to click on finish to complete this process. And then we are prompted to click yes to restart the computer now. Or you can click on no and restart the computer manually. So I'm just going to click on no. And then I'm going to close this and make sure everything is closed and then I will click on the start button and then come to the power button on the bottom right hand side of the start menu so I will click on that and I will just click on restart and I will let my computer to restart so again I will pause the video and once the computer restarts we will continue on with the process I will see you in a bit Okay, so we have successfully restarted our computer. So I'm just going to click on the picture here to activate the password screen. And then I will put in my password and I will press enter. And then now I have successfully installed VMware tools and I have logged into my computer. So if you can notice, you will notice at the bottom of the computer screen, I no more have that option showing as it means to install VMware tools. And if I click on VM in the menu and come down 
Now I see the option has changed from install VMware tools to reinstall VMware tools. So this tells me that VMware tools has been installed on my Windows 11 computer. And you can also verify that by clicking on the start menu and typing a ppwiz.cpl and then you can press enter or you can just click on it and this will just open the add and remove program so this is a shortcut to go to the add and remove program so i can either use that or i will just close this and i can just click here and just search for programs and that will show me add or remove programs and i can click on it and we're also opening the add and remove programs for me or i can close that and i can just i can go to the control panel and then within the control panel I can still go to add and remove programs by coming here on the left hand side and click on programs and then I can click on programs and features and it will bring me right back here. So those are different ways that you can come to the add and remove program. Whichever way you think is easier for you, go for it. So. Again, I will just bring you here to show you currently what are all the various software that I install on this Windows 11 client computer in my VMware. So I'm just going to maximize this. And then you can see them here. And at the bottom here, you can see that we have the VMware tools installed. And it tells you the date that it was installed on. And then it tells you the size of the installation file as well as the version number so if we want to uninstall this vmware tools we can just and right click and say uninstall or you can just click on the name and come at the top here and click on uninstall and just go through the wizard to uninstall it but we do not want to uninstall it i will just show you how you could do that with that being said, that would do for this video. It was just a short and quick video on how we can install VMware tools on Windows 11 client computer. So similarly, we can also install VMware tools on our Windows Server 2022 or on any operating system that we install within our virtual environment, be it Windows operating system or Linux operating system or even Mac operating system, we can install the VMware tools on it. Or even the EXS operating system, we can also install VMware tools on that as well. So once again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you like it. So if you like this video, make sure to click the like button. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, Make sure to leave those in the comment section down below. And if you know of anyone who will find this video useful, make sure to share this video with them so that they as well can benefit from the free education that we are sharing here at the Call Louis Academy. So without further ado, I will leave you now and I will say bye.